Do you remember when the Nintendo Wii first came out and every company was releasing like a huge variety of random plastic accessories? You had like a plastic tennis racket and the plastic zapper and the plastic golf club. Well, now that I have the Nintendo Switch, you know, it has a similar kind of like gimmicky novelty feel to it. So I figured it was only a matter of time before the market got flooded with a bunch of random accessories. So I decided to pick up a few, but the ones that I chose are, I guess you could say more practical. The first accessory that I picked up is the Moco controller grip used for the left and right of the Switch Joy-Con, it says. So one of the strengths of the Nintendo Switch is that you can take the Joy-Cons off from the left and the right, and you can use them as two separate controllers for two separate players. The problem is that these controllers, when used on their own, are really tiny. So unless you have, unless you're a child or you have really small hands, it is kind of awkward to use the single Joy-Con for an extended period of time. So with the controller grip, you have these little wings on the side and it's supposed to be a little bit more comfortable. So let's open this up. Trusty blade. One side, the other side. That's the red one. And that's the blue one. And then you can see that it has the plus and the minus there. So you know which way you have it. You're supposed to have it aligned. So it fits in like so, and then there are the buttons on the top here to correspond with the shoulder buttons. This is way more comfortable playing like this than it is using the Joy-Con on its own. So the second accessory that I picked up is the Fun Turbo Adjustable Stand Duo 270 degree rotation. It is, says it's compatible with a switch, tablet, and phone. And basically all it is, it's, it's a glorified tablet stand. And the main reason why I picked this up is that even though the Nintendo Switch has a little kickstand on the back, it's super flimsy. So I wanted a stand that I can use the Nintendo Switch in like tabletop mode. That's a little bit more stable because you know sometimes I like to play at my desk and I don't want to have it in handheld. I want to have the screen separate on a surface. So having a stand is very helpful. Cool and more secure, aluminum alloy stand body for quick heat conduction and dissipation, prevent overheating and risk of warped and bent occasion. What drew me to this stand instead of some of the other stands, um, there's an Amazon Basics version and some other ones that are out there, is that this one folds flat, that's one. And the other thing is that it's made of aluminum, so it's a little bit more sturdy. So it just folds up nice and light, like so. And it has like the rubbery feet on the bottom for grip. But yeah, you know, it's adjustable and like the hinges feel pretty good. Like they, they hold their place pretty well. And then you can adjust it to different angles or whatever you want to use it for. And what's nice is that it's open in the middle of the bottom here by having, I don't know if I can show you. What's the best way to show you? Kind of like that. There you go. It has like two legs or whatever where you prop your Nintendo Switch, but it means that the middle part is open. So you can still plug in your USB-C cable for charging, which is super useful. And last, but definitely not least, and also I think the most expensive of the three, but still not really that expensive, is the Mayflash Magic NS. And the main reason why I picked this up is that I've been thinking about getting the Pro Controller. Everyone says I should get the Pro Controller, but spending $90 on a controller doesn't seem, it's hard for me to justify. And the other thing is that uh, I have Ultra Street Fighter 2 on the Nintendo Switch, and I wanted to get the Anniversary Edition Street Fighter as well, as well as all the Neo Geo fighting games and stuff that are on the Switch. But I don't have a fight stick to use with the Switch. I've gotten very used to using an arcade stick for all my fighting games. And I already have an arcade stick that works with my PC and with my 360 and PS3 and such. So I picked this up. And basically what it is, is like a USB dongle that plugs into the Switch, with, into the Switch dock, so that I'm able to use uh, PS4, PS3, uh, Switch Pro, Joy-Con, Wii U Pro, Xbox One S, PS3, PS4, 
uh, Xbox One S, Xbox 360, and Fight Sticks, and standard USB controllers like Logitech Rumble Gamepad F510 and F310 to be connected with your Nintendo Switch, PS3, or PC system. Basically, it lets you use a whole bunch of different controllers from Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and such on the Switch as well as on the PC. So that's pretty handy for about $20 US. So let me open that up. It comes with some like button remapping stickers, which I probably won't need to use. There is a buttons table for you to convert your Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo and such. Uh, X input, uh, PCX input, and PCD input. What button means what on what controller. The actual device itself is right here. So that's the Mayflash Magic NS. So it plugs into the USB port on your Switch dock. And then it has a USB female port on the bottom here to plug in whatever controller you want. It also came with this uh, USB to USB-C adapter. So what I'm wondering is if I plug it in like this, and then I plug that part into the USB-C port on the Switch, will I be able to use like my Xbox 360 controller on that? It would be a very interesting test to find out. What do you think? So as it turns out, it was wishful thinking to think that I could use the USB-C adapter to connect a wired Xbox 360 controller to the Switch. It only works in the TV dock. Alright guys, so I guess that's it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do put up a new vlog every Monday. So if you'll excuse me, I've got some games to play, so I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Are you going to go hide? I think she's gone. She just said no peeking.